It's the last full week of CRL West before playoffs, and every single team is giving it everything they've got. As we found out, there is no such thing as an invincible team. Let's analyze and break down our top five favorite plays of week five. We kick off this video with a rivalry match between Complexity and Immortals. It's a King of the Hill match, with a God RF facing off against Adrian Piedra. Adrian Piedra is playing the super consistent Hog Earthquake deck against Mortar Minor Bait, which happens to be the signature deck of the God RF's teammate, Lapokati. It's a fairly even matchup with both players having answers to the other's win condition. Adrian Piedra arguably has the matchup slightly in his favor since he can deal more guaranteed tower damage with an Earthquake spell. My favorite interaction in this match is here when Adrian Piedra launches a push with his Hog Rider and Archers, but is stopped by a perfectly placed mortar and a defensive miner. The God RF is able to deny all hog hits and is even able to launch a tiny counterattack with the miner. The match is so close and it is ultimately won by the single spear goblin that was able to dodge the earthquake spell and put Adrian Piedra's princess tower in snowball range. The next play is in this 2v2 match between Liquid and Team Queso. Team Liquid is playing minor ram rider versus Team Queso's double royal giant. Team Liquid is able to connect with the Ram Rider, and Team Queso begins to launch a counterattack with the Royal Giant. This is where Team Liquid make a misplay that actually ends up working out in their favor. Canario plays an Infernal Tower, but it doesn't aggro the Royal Giant. He fixes this mistake by playing a log that moves the Royal Giant into the aggro zone of the Inferno Tower. Team Queso's Royal Giant gets one hit on Team Liquid's Princess Tower, but because the Royal Giant didn't get a shot on the Inferno Tower, the Inferno Tower is able to help defend against Team Queso's very next push resulting in an overall positive elixir exchange. Team Liquid play the rest of the game perfectly and clutch the victory with a near instant lightning. Up next is Mikkel of Fnatic versus Carnage of Pain Gaming. This match showcases Mikkel having a great read on his opponent's elixir and card cycle. Mikkel plays a lumberjack when Carnage has no more elixir, doing just as much damage as his opponent's balloon. Mikkel, sensing he has a huge elixir lead, makes a great play to start pushing opposite lane and tower trades with his opponent. Mikkel proceeds to finish off Carnage's Princess Tower, winning the match with one final Spear Goblin throw. Our next highlight features Spade of Tribe Gaming against Dark Angel of Team Queso. It's one of Spade's first appearances in CRL West, and boy does he come out in style. Not only does he jam out the entire time while sweeping in King of the Hill, he uses some really fun decks, like this Royal Giant Bait deck with Mega Knight. Despite Dark Angel having three different spells in this deck, Spade dominates with his Bait troops. This play showcases Spade very effectively punishing Dark Angel for playing his Snowball carelessly. Spade goes on to sweep two more members of Team Queso. I highly recommend watching these matches just to see Spade dance and have a great time playing Clash Royale. And the number one ranked play of this week is this epic nailbiter between Air Surfer of Complexity against Morden of SK Gaming. Morden is able to barely tower trade with Air Surfer before overtime, but look at that huge push Air Surfer has at Morden's King Tower. Morden is able to prevent being three crowned, but Air Surfer doesn't let up. Air Surfer continues applying more and more pressure as Morden just tries to stay alive. At literally the very last minute, Morden has had enough. With his King Tower at only 750 HP, Morden begins to fight back. Air Surfer makes one mistake. He attempts to tornado Morden's Dark Prince out of the Lumberjack's aggro zone. In an attempt to have the Lumberjack free aggro on the King Tower, but the plan fails. Because of that wasted elixir, Morden is able to launch one final attack and win the match after teetering on the edge of defeat for so long. The playoffs for CRL West are almost here, and no team is completely safe from being eliminated. Which team do you think can win it all and become CRL West's first champion? Playoffs are Sunday, July 7th, and we can't wait to see you there.